In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your gradebook in Redeker um, for the new teachers as well as if you need a refresher for the start of the new school year. So, on our school website, you can click on Staff Resources, Redeker, or you can just go to Parent Guardian Links and click on Redeker Portal. They're all the same portal. You might want to bookmark this in the future if you want, so you can skip those steps and just leave it up here at the top. All right, you're going to log in with your school email and password that you have set up for Redeker. In here is a cool feature that you can see your schedule. This is a quick summary of what classes you have and when. You can do a print preview and print that out. Here's a list of your classes and the students in each one. I, this is the most uh, recent roster. roster. So there's should be updated. Um, what you want to do in here is click on Gradebook. Now your Gradebook is where everything's going to happen. Um, I'm going to show you just how to set it up today in this video and I will show you how to add columns and stuff in another video. So Gradebooks. So if I click on Gradebooks you'll see a list of all of my classes. Every class you teach. Special teachers, you don't teach some of these grades. or Well, you teach them, but you don't give grades out to K4 through 3rd grade. So you might not want some of these. So the first thing I'm going to show you is to make uh, some of them invisible. So all you got to do is go to Settings, Grade Books. And for, in my case, I'm not going to give grades to kindergarten, first grade, second grade. or third grade so I'm going to click on save and now when I click on grade books they disappear so that might be the first thing you want to set up and I forgot K4 so I'll go back into grade books and make them not active all right so now the grades I need are here um, next thing you're going to want to do for new teachers and for returning teachers is go into grading and you want to set up your categories. In order to do that, you want to go to weighting. So what you want to do here is kind of set up the categories that you think your assignments will be, your grades, each category that they'll fill. So the standard will be quiz, homework, test. If you don't want to add any more, that's fine. But I added some called assignments, collaboration, participation. If you want to add categories, you could change the category here, select the color, add the category that your assignments might fall in. So science teachers might want to do labs, set it up as a category, homework as a category, etc. Um, that should be the only thing you need to do here. You do not want to check your classes as weighted grades unless you really want to weight your grades, I'd recommend just doing total points. But if you want to weight your grades, then uh, message me and we'll talk about how to do that. 